Tony Summers working for you. All right, Tony, thanks. Well, you may know Steubenville as a city of nutcrackers or of murals, but what do you know about the man it's named after? 7 News reporter Colin Roos is live in the studio to tell us how the Prussian officer who dedicated not only his name to the city, but his life to the country's future. Colin. Catherine, the military man in this picture is not George Washington, but the debt America owes to him may be nearly as great as that of our first president. This is Baron von Steuben, who was responsible for training revolutionary soldiers to fight off the British and free our nation. And now the city bearing his name will give him a statue. With support from donations, Fort Steuben is looking to have a monument up in time for the country's 250th anniversary in 2026. They hope it will be a chance to show visitors the importance of the city's namesake. We are the first stop uh, for, for people visiting the area, so, um, you know, anytime we can, um, you know, give people the opportunity to learn more about not only our local history, but American history as a whole, uh, we're super excited about that. To be absolutely honest with you, if he wasn't involved, I'm not even too sure if we would be celebrating America's 250th anniversary. The estimated cost is between 80 and $100,000. You can donate and be a part of America's semi-quincentennial by giving at oldfortsteuben.com. Now also featured in that statue will be Baron, bon Baron von Steuben's beloved Italian greyhound, Azor. They say it's a way to separate from his other statues around the world and pay tribute to all the canines who helped in our war efforts. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.